my first pair of boots from Helm, the Hollis. Initially, I didn't know what to make of the white midsole. I was a little bit confused about it. And in the ensuing year after that, I thought about it more and more until I ended up going ham on Helm and I picked up the Zind, the Charlie, and the Wilson. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the leather quality, sole quality, fit and sizing, and ultimately whether or not Helm is right for you. So let's start off and talk about the style. The Helm Zind has a 270 degree Goodyear welt and it is a plain toe service boot style. Now because this is Boots Buy, I'm gonna mainly focus on the Zind in this review. But if you're curious, I'm also gonna throw in some details on the Charlie and the Wilson right here, their loafer, just cause I thought these were really cool and I thought they'd be a nice compliment to my wardrobe. It was super hot this summer. I was tired of wearing boots. I know that's hard for some of you guys to hear, maybe a letdown kind of glass shattering moment. But yeah, it was hot and I was gonna wear loafers because that's awesome. So throughout this review, I'll mainly focus on the Zin, but I'm gonna be throwing in some images and some video of these as well. Now back to the Zin. This is actually a lot slimmer than I thought it would be uh, just looking at pictures online. So as you can see, it is quite a slim toe box. I'm gonna throw up some video where you can see me walking around in it and you can get a really good impression of what this boot looks like on the foot. I picked this up in their olive leather and I love this color. I think it's really unique and that is what drew me back to Helm again. One, their construction is really good and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but this leather color is super cool looking and I think it makes a really interesting addition to a wardrobe. Now the Zin has seven eyelets, no speed hooks, and those are painted in olive green to match this color leather. And of course you have a natural color leather on the insole midsole and then there's also that white midsole as well so that is definitely unique to helm that's how you can tell a pair of helm boots from across the street as for the leather quality i couldn't get any specifics on like where this leather is exactly from but if i had a guess it's about two millimeters in thickness we do have a lining on the inside that's one millimeter so you get about three millimeters of leather in between your foot and like the outside world and that's pretty standard that's not like exceptional that's not poor or anything like that it's like right in the middle and that's what you'd expect that's at least what i expected from a plain toe service boot in this price range with this this particular leather, the olive, that's why I picked this boot. I love the color of this. So I think that's really cool. It's a very unique color that you can't really find with many other boot brands. And in my experience of wearing it so far, it's pretty supple. I haven't had issues breaking this boot in at all. In fact, it's super comfortable helm. They do a great job of making these boots comfortable. I'll talk about that a little bit later. The leather itself it bends easily. It uh, looks good. It does scuff a little bit. I noticed that if I kind of nick it on something, it will it will scuff up a little bit faster than say like a black pair of boots. It's kind of on par with Horween Chrome Excel in that it gets marks pretty easily, but you can almost just like buff them out with your thumb. Like you don't even need to do conditioner or any sort of anything special. You could just kind of rub it in with your thumb and that will get out a lot of nicks. So it definitely is an oil rich leather and that will help buff out any scuffs and it, it makes it a much more resilient, pretty water resistant leather as well. As for the sole, it's kind of a leather rubber combo. The outsole is leather, and the parts that aren't as important, I guess. And then it has rubber right on like the ball of your foot and in the heel as well. So those areas that tend to wear out faster, those are, they're using rubber on that, which I think is really cool, but it keeps kind of the classic look of the leather outsole as well with that awesome branding in there so that people know, bam, he's wearing a pair of helm. In wearing the Hollis for the past year, it's something that's really grown on me. At first I didn't know what to make of it, but I do like the white insole. I think it's pretty cool. No other brand has it. And it's just a unique feature to this boot that kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. Now the insole on all of these boots and shoes is phenomenal. And this is one of my favorite things about helm. They really take comfort into consideration a lot more than most boot brands. And that might seem surprising, like wouldn't every boot brand really think about comfort and, and really prioritize that like yes they do they think about it so helm uses a ton of high density foam a lot of pour on a lot of very soft materials in their boots and that makes it like as soon as you put your foot into one of these boots or one of these shoes it is so comfortable now i know a lot of boot fans are pretty hesitant to go with something like a synthetic insole because those materials can break down faster than leather maybe it was just timing because i just finished breaking in a pair of nyx boots that is all leather all the way through the insole and midsole there's not even cork in this maybe it was timing because after breaking this in i was really ready for something that was easily like quickly comfortable and i didn't have to break it in so on that front helm definitely delivered for me as for fit and size these fit pretty similarly to how most US boot brands fit, not necessarily sneakers. So that's definitely surprising for something like the Wilson, this loafer. And it's also important to note if you're thinking about the Charlie, which is kind of like a hiking boot slash sneaker hybrid. It's a little bit of both. You would expect that definitely for the Zin, but what is interesting, I actually wrote a full in-depth sizing guide to Helm. You can check that down below if you're interested in a pair of Helm boots and you wanna know what size you should get first. But basically I found that the Zin, surprisingly, this boot had the narrowest 
lowest last of all of, of, of between these two, like these are a little bit more spacious than the actual boot. So when you're getting a pair of Helm shoes or sneakers, make sure you kind of go adhere to standard US boot sizes. So that would mainly mean going a half size down from your normal sneaker size. So I have the 10D here in the Charlie and I would normally get in standard US sneakers like Nikes, I would get a 10.5. So I did do a half size down and that got me the perfect fit with both the Charlie and the Wilson here. Here's my final verdict on my new haul of Helm boots. I really like this brand. Like I said, comfort is kind of the main thing that I really appreciate about them. I think the white midsole has definitely grown on me a lot since I got the Hollis earlier on, uh, about a year ago. The Zind, this is definitely my new favorite. So this replaces the Hollis as my like go-to Helm boot. I love the olive leather. It's super comfortable. I love how narrow it is. I like the style a lot. I think it just looks, looks really, really good with certain outfits. It's like, it's the little, cherry on top, but it's like a boot on your foot. So it's the opposite of that. As for the Charlie, I think it's a pretty cool like combination of a hiking boot and a sneaker. This definitely like high top. I say high top sneakers, they're boots. Fight me. Then lastly, we got the Wilson Loafer and this guy, again, super hot in North Carolina. Some of you might be gasping right now because you're like boot spy loafers. But yeah, it's true. Sometimes in the summer, it gets hot. I put on a pair of loafers. This is pretty roomy, so definitely go a half size smaller than your normal sneaker or dress shoe size with these Helm loafers. But yeah, the Wilson, pretty unique looking loafer and I'm a big fan of it. If any of these boots interest you, make sure you enter that giveaway down below so you can win a free pair of Helm boots plus a boot care kit from Boots by. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below. I also have some other boot reviews popping up on the screen right now. I'll see you in the next video and until then, put your best boot forward.